Hi, my name is Shmuli Cohen and I'm the product manager of the satellite line in Foxconn. Today we're going to talk about RF over fiber and why is fiber such a good medium to transfer RF signals compared to other types of uh, mediums and the advantages of doing it with fiber and who can use these advantages. So first of all, what is RF? RF signals are uh, alternating current signal with a frequency of above 10 kilohertz which are being used for communication. Now these RF signals can be transported via coax cables like the one I'm holding, via the air using uh, suitable antennas and via optical fibers like the one I'm holding here. So comparing RF uh, over fiber to RF over coax, first thing you can see is that of course fiber is much lighter than coax. Uh, this, the, the whole weight thing could be, uh, could be an issue on, on, on airborne application and maritime application when weight, uh, where weight could be a limiting factor. Another advantage of fiber compared to coax is that of course the attenuation or the loss that you have via fiber. On, on, fiber, on fiber cables, the optical loss is much lower than it is on coax cable. So if we take, for instance, uh, an RF signal with a frequency of 1 GHz, when, when, that, when this signal is being uh, transported via coax cable, you will have to use an amplifier to re-amplify the signals every few tens of meters. While when you're using fiber optic, you don't have to do it. You can run that signal for almost 100 kilometers without the use of any amplification. Another advantage of fiber uh, compared to coax is the bandwidth. With coax you are limited with the bandwidth that you can, uh, or, or, or data rate if you want to look at it, that you can run through it. But uh, when using fibers, since you can use multiple wavelengths through a single fiber, you actually uh, unlimited with the amount of data that you can run through it. Another, another advantage of fiber compared to coax is that fiber is electrically isolated. Now this is very important. If you have an antenna on the roof which is connected via coax cable to equipment down below and a lightning strike hits nearby, near the antenna, somewhere on the roof, your equipment down below will get damaged. When using a fiber, you don't have these type of issues because the fiber will not transfer electrical currents and you actually are immune to all kind of ESD issues, uh, grounding issues or lightning issues like I just described. Um, tapping. Okay. So, uh, coax cables will have some type of uh, leakage through them. Okay, Signals will get through they're going to be very, very weak, but if someone really wants it, he can listen, into, listen to those signals and actually tap into the information that is being transferred, transported through the cable. In fiber, co in fiber cables, you don't have this uh, optical leakage, so it's, in, it's impossible to tap into signal being transported via fiber. Uh, the, la the last but most important advantage of fiber the, compared to coax is of course that fiber is today much cheaper, much lower, it has much lower cost than uh, coax cables. The uh, production cost for fibers has been uh, going down over the last years and today it's much more beneficial and cost effective to use fiber than to use coax cables. Um, Foxcom is a leading manufacturer of RF over fiber solution. We have experience of more than 20 years in the market. We have solution for satellite earth station and teleports, for broadcast, broadcast facilities, high-rise buildings, hotels, corporate campuses, shopping malls, sports stadium, convention, convention centers, airport and railway station and gated communities, uh, which through fiber we offer distribution of any type of signal, digital, cable, television, commercial television, or other type of signals. For more information, please log on to our website at, uh, at www.foxcom.com. 
Thank you for, for watching this footage.